I'm good, Eddie. Thanks for having me on. How you doing? Good, good, good. Um, no chicken foot reunion, right? Well, not that I know of. I, I did get a text from Sammy this morning, and uh, he volunteered uh, to sing lead vocals for the Squares if we would put together a tour like Circle and Squares because he thought it just sounded interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that. Well, let's get right to it then. This, the, is it the is it the squares or squares? I have no idea. I think <laughs> that uh, you know, going back to uh, probably early 1980, in our barn of a rehearsal place in in the flats of uh, Berkeley, California, um, I remember having a big chalkboard, and we had all the names that we could have used as band names. And uh, for weeks, I think there were debates on whether we were the squares or squares. And we figured we'd be like eagles, which everybody calls the eagles. We would just call ourselves squares, but knowing that everyone would call us the squares, it didn't matter. <laughs> so, well, well, before <laughs> before we get to the semantics of the name, we should probably fill people fill people in exactly on what the deal is with this band, because... This is a band that you had very early on. What was the time frame that that the squares existed in? Uh, we met for the very first time in late '79. Um, we actually played together for the very first time in Jeff Campitelli's parents' garage in Danville, California. I think because we had no other place to play, and I had just introduced myself to Jeff, who was just out of high school, and Andy, who had just moved into the area from Cleveland, Ohio. Um, my brother-in-law, Neil Sheehan, and I saw them play at a club, invited them to this project that we had dreamed up for a power pop trio. And um, so uh, that was the beginning of it. We didn't really get down to it until the very beginning of, of 1980, and that's when we started the work of, you know, sort of inventing who we were going to be, what styles we were going to, a draw from and, uh, you know, how we were going to become the band of our dreams, you know. Um, and we we played and uh, rehearsed like crazy for a good four years. I mean, it was really a lot of fun and hard work, but that's who we were. The Jeff Campitelli on drums, which everybody knows from all my solo records and tours. Andy Milton, who was uh, new on the scene at the time, he was singing lead vocals, playing bass. Uh, I played guitars and sang mostly background vocals, but, uh, you know, maybe a quarter of the song uh, songs I would do some lead vocals. Um, the fourth member that nobody ever saw was my then brother-in-law, Neil Sheehan, who was the manager and who uh, wrote 99% of the lyrics for the songs. So how long were you in California at that time when this band came together? When, when did, you know, you, you relocated there what year? Uh, let's see. I kind of drifted out there um, after. Uh, let's see, what year was that? Seventy, uh, early seventy six, I think. Um, or uh, yeah, early seventy six. I think I kind of drifted out there to Berkeley to join uh, my two older sisters, uh, just to sort of get away from what I'd been doing, which was touring with a disco band, if you can believe that, on the East Coast. And um, and then I wound up moving to Japan for about six months, and then sort of drifted back. So I'd say by seventy seven, uh, I decided I was going to sort of stay in Berkeley, California. It was about as different from you know, Westbury, Long Island, as you could get. And and uh, I, I kind of found a freedom there to start thinking about what I wanted to do. Uh, coincidentally, my brother-in-law um, was out there as well, and he wanted to just sort of create some music. So I have to give you some background on that. You know, I've known him since I was 10 years old. That's when he started dating one of my older sisters. And uh, as I became a young musician, he started to include me in some of the songwriting. And so we had this sort of uh, unusual musical history all the way out to uh, this late 70s period where we had tried writing a musical and we wrote some songs for uh, different bands that we tried to play. None of it ever really clicked. Um, but then we got the idea to do the band. So in 77 through 79, we really start thinking about uh, doing this for real.